Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Keeping Up with Housekeeping. This is a very special uh, episode, a very special chat or meet, because it's the first one that will be reaching your apartments. So I'm happy that uh, we have this opportunity to uh, share the message with everybody and give you an update of what we um, are actually going through. Uh, some of you already uh, came to the last meeting, so thank you so much. I'm going to go over um, some information that we also reviewed that um, last week. That way, uh, those that were not here can also um, see what we actually uh, did last, last month. So a couple of things, a couple of updates, things that we worked on in the past few weeks, past few months, has been the enhancement of many of the um, paper towels covers in your restrooms, in the restaurant restrooms. We changed all of those. We changed them to stainless steel, which is a better look, easier to keep up with. Um, and they're all changed in all the restrooms, in the resident restrooms out there. Um, aerosol dispensers also, you're gonna notice a different scent in all the restrooms. So we changed those as well to just give it a little bit of a better smell. As soon as you walk in, better welcoming experience in there. So those have been replaced in all the uh, restrooms all around. First we focus on the resident restrooms and then we're focusing on the employee side, okay? so. Uh, trash cans also have been um, added to many of the bathroom stalls. Uh, stainless steel trash cans, we're focusing on those as well. Um, I like everything to be matching so it's a good look and at the same time easier to keep up um, as well. So you're gonna see those around. Um, one of the other things that we spoke about on last meeting was the transition to our new chemical line, uh, it's called PNG. Um, they will be pretty much providing us with all the Ecolab products that we currently use. It's a lot better um, or easier to use. It's, uh, these are chemicals that you use at home. These are chemicals that we're used to use at home. So they're a lot better. Um, multiple chemicals or one chemical can do multiple functions, which is great because it replaces many of the other chemicals that we pretty much have at the moment. So I gave you guys something similar to this flyer. I'll make sure to put this flyer in each one of your mailboxes, even um, at home, so everybody has the opportunity to review it. Everybody has the opportunity to get familiarized with it. We got the tr uh, transition date. Transition date will be next, uh, not next Thursday, the 20th of August. So you will see all of our chemicals completely transition in. So, um, that's pretty much all the updates that we have in the last few uh, weeks. Uh, one of the major and biggest, um, let's say, hires that we have is Mr. Raymond. Hi, so guys. Raymond Hi. started with us about three weeks ago. Raymond uh, has already made an impact in many of the residence apartments because I've been hearing great news. Yeah. So Raymond, can you just introduce yourself and talk to uh, Hi, us? Hi, Ray. Um, I've done cleaning most of my life. Uh, I wanted to work here because I wanted to help and I love cleaning. And you certainly are helping out a lot. So yeah. we're very glad to have you. Um, call him, I call him Speedy Gonzalez because <laughs> he's uh, pretty much finishing everything extremely fast. So we're very glad to have you and thank you for taking the time and introducing yourself. Of course, yourself. thank you. Welcome. Thanks Welcome. Welcome. You. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Raymond. Very good things about how good your cleaning is. Oh, thank you. Yes, sir. <laughs> thank you. Have a good day. With, with that being said, we also have a special guest with us today. So can uh, you introduce yourself, my special guest? We're going to talk a little bit about a few concerns we want to address uh, that we need your assistance with, uh, making sure we go over uh, the proper way to discard trash. Hi, everybody. It's nice for you to see me, maybe. I sure wish I could see you out there and far away land, but in the course of the some things that we have been able to do together, some of us residents were made aware of a serious problem related to the way we're dealing with our trash. And it's, it's basically been brought on, I think, by the huge volumes of foods that we have in our apartments that we didn't used to have in our apartments. And the way we're disposing of it uh, requires special care. So the first meeting of the four of us, two of which are represented here, yes. that's me and Margaret Hendry. Uh, the other two that are involved are Johanna Gussick and uh, Chris Swanson, okay? On the 22nd of July, we met on the breezeway 
and we decided to figure out what to do about this. So we put together a campaign, something that residents can do to help residents. Assuming that the problem might be education and just not awareness, that's where we decided to start. This is one of the posters that we're putting in the refuge room to remind people to tie their bag tightly so that when it lands and it comes down the chute, it does not break open and create a safety health hazard. Okay, and I want to demonstrate what we mean about tying the bag tightly. Because the picture on that one you'll see was a bag that had been tied, but apparently once. <laughs> and it came down the chute, banging off the sides, and sat, on, sat in the thing, and as other bags hit it, it came open. I happen to get that picture, I just happen to, so I know all about this bag. <laughs> anyway, what we mean by tying it tightly, this happens to be a Publix bag, it works just fine. Tie it once, tie it twice, and now it's shoot ready, right? Yes. You'll be seeing those signs for weeks. A team of us, in addition to the four I mentioned, are putting them up in the trash chute areas every week for the next four or five weeks. And the Oaks will be busy with articles. Mm -hmm. Thank yep. you. And one of the important things also is don't put anything down the chute unless it is in a bag tied. That means newspapers, anything. It must be in a bag. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Robin and Margaret. I appreciate you guys talking about this. Um, I want to add something also. I know we have a lot of boxes that, um, or a lot of orders that we order from Amazon. So please, we are asking that um, you don't leave those in the refuse room. It's a safety hazard, right? Um, it's very hard for us to access the area. The area is already narrow enough. So we um, we're asking for you to please break those boxes down and bring them down to the first floor. Okay, um, that's that's pretty much what everybody should be doing and a practice that we want to continue and promote. So thank you uh, all for your help with that. And we look forward to having uh, all these issues with trash resolved. Now I'm gonna open it up for some questions. The question was if we're getting a cleaning calendar, a housekeeping focus. Thank you, it's a great question. Yes, we are. So every time, by the end of the month, we are replacing the old one with a new one with hopes that we could get you um, a little bit of more housekeeping in your apartment. So yes, at this moment, it's a rotation that we're undergoing, similar to last, uh, last month. You're gonna see a continuation of what we're focusing this month. So that's that's what you should expect in your mailbox. If you did not get one, ask the housekeeper and the housekeeper will be able to get you a copy of that calendar. Thank you. Any other questions? What day does the What day does it change? So, great question. Uh, thank you. When does the housekeeping focus changes? So, when we first stopped uh, housekeeping service it was on a Wednesday, effective on a Thursday. So that means that your focus, so the changing of the housekeeping cleaning starts on a Thursday. So starting on a Thursday, we're gonna focus on something else in your apartment, a different area to clean in your apartment. So please expect the focus to change every Thursday. Just the same way when we return back to normal housekeeping, we're gonna try to change it on the same day so nobody loses that rotation, okay? Any other question? We had one. Yes, well, you said it was going to change. Yes. So last uh, week we had a, um, a meet here as well, and we are promoting obviously um, a little bit of more uh, housekeeping in your apartment, right? So we have submitted um, another calendar with uh, that reflects a little bit of more housekeeping in your apartment. So we are waiting approval. As soon as we hear back from that approval, hopefully it's uh, what we expect. Um, we will send more calendars and give you that update via 732, uh, also via housekeeping chat, and also in your mailbox, an updated um, calendar. So thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I've got one. Sure. I know that we don't get things done by ourselves around here. I mean, we, we had to have two of us up there to give the announcement, and you even had to help to, to add a, a third thing about the boxes. Yes. The point I'm trying to make here is we're working really well together and I want to thank you 
for working with maintenance because many of our problems that we identify as far as housekeeping are concerned bleed over into the maintenance area and vice versa. So thank you for that and I hope that continues through the, the director's meetings. Absolutely. So thank you for making me aware and for seeking um, our guidance. You know, um, I always said it's a collective effort, right? I need to make you aware so you can help me identify the opportunities and that we can work together to fix those opportunities. So maintenance and housekeeping, we got the pleasure of pretty much being hand, to, hand in hand. We need them and, I need, uh, and they need us pretty much. So um, it's a very uh, strong bond that thankfully Darwin and I have as far as the department is concerned. So thank you all. Any further questions? Yeah. Uh, I just think I've noticed that among all of the directors, you all work together well. Yes. Um, it, it's a great team that we have. We're very fortunate to have a great team of directors that communicate well. We have fun, uh, but we also take our job very serious, and overall, we help each other. So, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Is there any schedule set up for the doors to be cleaned that are not apartment doors? What doors? They look really bad, going down the stairway or into the... Um, Elevator, freight elevator. They're not apartment doors, but they are pretty dirty. The uh, uh, common, common area stair uh, doors. Yeah. So thank you for mentioning that. The question was if there's um, uh, you know a game plan as far as like detailing and cleaning these doors. Yes, it's actually part of our next focus for the housekeepers. So what happens is. The time that we don't spend in your apartment, we invest in other areas of the community. So disinfecting areas, you've seen the housekeepers going around. Despite whether they work in the north or in the south, they're still cross-training to buildings to help each other out to disinfect these areas. And one of the main projects was to finish stairwells. They're done with their own stairwell. They're done with their uh, floors. Now the next thing is gonna be detailing uh, doors such as the storage units for residents, yeah. detailing all the other common area doors. So it is a project that's coming okay. soon. Thank you. thank you all. Any uh, other questions? Well, thank you. thank you for coming by. Thank you for your help. And I look forward to seeing you all next week. Okay. Thank you at home. Very much.